this is about Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is a hypocrite. She talks about anti-bullying, and yet there are people that she bullies. She bullies Christians. Some of them, you know, Catholics, which of course Protestants don't consider to be Christians because Catholics burned Protestants at the stake. And we still remember that. Don't get yourself. We have a long memory. Okay. Lady Gaga, don't mock God. When you mock God, you are saying to these kids who are being bullied, it's okay, go ahead, mock God, it's all right. That's okay to do. No, it's not. It's not okay to do. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, keep your clothes on. What kind of message does it send to a 12 or 13 year old girl if you're running around stage on a G-string or wearing undress, states of undress, in public. What does that say to these kids? Oh, some little boy says, oh, you're like Lady Gaga? Why don't you, why don't you send me a message? You know, attach a little photo with you and a G-string, and then that kid's going to get bullied. So if you're going to talk to kids in elementary school or junior high about bullying, Keep your clothes on. Don't mock God. You know, just friendly little word of advice. Because otherwise, you're just a hypocrite. You're encouraging bullying. And you're bullying yourself. Because anyone who has a difference of opinion concerning you, heaven forbid, you cannot, you cannot criticize the doppelganger of Maria from Metropolis. Yes, I picked up on that. And uh, if you remember the story, the real Maria protects the children from the flood. Now, in this case, there's a flood of filth, and you're part of that flood. And in the other case, I'm the other Maria, and I'm the one that's saying, I'm going to try and save you from this flood of filth, because that's what you are. You're a filthist. You promote not art, but filth, because you take your clothes off and go, this is art. No, it's not. What you're doing, you and Madonna before you, what you're doing is you're actually closing the door for legitimate artists because you're saying to people, well, if you don't take your clothes off, if you're not doing this, then, well, you're not, you know, you're not with it. You're old fashioned. You know, you're like snooty Aunt Cynthia out there. You know, that old, decrepit old woman who's out there saying nasty things about me. Yeah, well, I am artistic, and I am bohemian, and I've written over 10,000 songs and a bunch of other stuff. And the thing is, I keep my clothes on. And yeah, I know I'm old and I'm fat, but I wasn't always old and fat. And when I was younger, I kept my clothes on because, you know, I didn't want somebody unless I was really attracted to them to see my naked body. I'm not going to get up on a stage and act like I'm a stripper. And that's what you do. And that, that's not art. It's like when strippers got on stage and said, this is dance. I was a solo dancer for 11 years. I couldn't get a job because I kept my clothes on. And did it mean I wasn't a dancer? No, it meant I was too artistic, as I was told, when I uh, applied for a job, even as a bikini dancer, and they said, oh, you, you dance too artistic. Okay. I'm a dancer. I danced artistically. Amazing. And I, could, and I was denied a job because I was an artistic dancer instead of a bump and grinder. So when you get out there and you do filth and you say, this is art, you're a liar. Okay? Are, are, are we clear on that? Because you're not, you're not. The thing is, people that are talented don't have to take their clothes off. People who are talented don't have to mock God. They don't have to use the shock factor. Case in point, the late, great Janis Joplin. All she had to do is get on a stage and sing. Case in point, Adele. She gets behind a microphone, a little black dress, and sings. Now, if you're that good, why don't you do that? Why don't you just put on a little black dress and get behind a microphone and sing? And if you're good enough, then maybe you'll have the number one album of the year like Adele did. And if you're not good enough, 
Bye. There's other people that have the talent. And they're not going to strip, and they're not going to mock God. So if you're going to talk about bullying, look in the mirror at yourself. Because as long as you mock God, as long as you take your clothes off and call it art, you're not helping it. You're part of the bullies. You're part of the people that say, oh, it's okay to do these things and to, and to run down other people and what they believe in, what they hold sacred, or what they won't do because they've got too much class. And that's Snooty and Cynthia's personal opinion. And I'm entitled to it, duckies. Yes, I am. Nah, 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 nah. I'm entitled to my opinion. If you don't like it, you know what? You can post a little comment. You can post a little video thing. And that's that.